my name's Rosie and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. How are you all? I hope you're all doing really, really well. So today we are going to be looking like Love Islanders and, and that's it really. Yeah, I uh, ordered a whole load of stuff from I Saw It First and uh, I can only imagine that it's going to make me look like one of the Love Islanders. Not that I don't already. So uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. If you are new here, I do have two little pugs, Peggy and Lolo. You will hear them snow throughout this video. If you haven't done so already, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this sort of content. I know to continue to do it. Put that notification bell on because I'm really bad at uploading it on regular intervals. So you will know whenever I upload, which will be at least once or twice a week. And yeah, uh, all your comments down below as always. So uh, let's just get into it. I will just say before I show you this massive bag of stuff, I saw it first on the app at the moment, have 50% off. I ordered this yesterday, which was Wednesday, quite late last night actually. It turned up today, they've got 50% off, fingers crossed that will still be the case uh, when this video goes up, which will be ASAP. Um, yeah, so I am going to leave the price on the screen that it is advertised at full price. Um, and then obviously I got 50% off of that, or whatever code would be floating around at the time. Cool? Wicked. Let's go. So, this couch. Ugh, couch. Really heavy bag turned up. Oh my god, it's so heavy. <sighs> okay, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this dress because it's too much white. I'd imagine it's going to be too much white. The camera is not going to like it. But uh, it's, it's, it's what we've got to work with. So, the first dress I got actually in a size 18. This is a polka dot little bodycon type number. Um, I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. Um, there's pros and cons about this little one, I'd say. So, if I come up close, you can see the white material with the polka dot, and it's really nice. So, the neckline's not always my favourite, but actually I think it really suits this dress. And it's got a really cute little sleeve on it. And I would say this dress is made really, really well. It's not too thin. It's quite a nice fabric. The dress comes just below the knee. And it has this really nice slit up it, which I really, really like. It's got a seam here and down here, weirdly. And this dress is figure hugging. And I don't mind that. But because it's white, I would say that you're going to want to wear nude or white underwear underneath which isn't a problem. I've got a black body on underneath. Just the one that I always wear from H&M. Oh no, this one I've got on today is from Primark. Um, so yeah, I don't mind this dress. I don't hate it, but I'm not in love with it. I quite like the shape it gives my body. Um, I don't mind that you can see a little bit of tummy. I don't think it's too bad. Um, here's what it looks like from the back. This is just a dress that you literally shove over your head. Um, yeah, I don't hate it. It's not my favourite dress in the world, but I don't hate it at all. Um, and I really enjoy polka dots, and I think with the right little sh accessories, shoes and bag and stuff, this would look really, really cute. Okay, so the next item I have picked up is this little green shirt dress. I picked this up in a size 18. They also had this dress in white. Now, I'm a little bit gutted because it is quite short. Yeah, okay. So, first of all, I absolutely love this colour. I don't own a dress in this sort of vibrant green. Um, I think it's quite nice. It's got this ruched front. Uh, it's got this ruched effect going down the front. I don't own a dress with this. I think it's actually really cute, quite different. I quite like that. Um, however... It's just, I don't know, I feel like it looks a little bit like it needs ironing, which it probably does. It's being scrunched up in a bag. Um, I feel like it's being drawn a little bit to my tummy, but again, that's probably just my eye. Like no one else I don't think is going to look at me and think that necessarily. I like the sleeves, they're nice and oversized, I like that. Um, you've got buttons on the, cuff, on the cuffs, so you could roll them up and have them up if you wanted to um yeah i don't know i just think just 
this i don't know does it look cheap i'm not sure there's just something about it that i'm not 100 sure on and like i said it's quite short so from the back i wouldn't feel like overly uncomfortable um i feel like i could just do with it being just even a centimeter longer but it's not the end of the world i am five foot eight if you're shorter uh, you can sort of gauge that and obviously if you're taller you can gauge that as well whichever height you are you can gauge that based on our five foot eight um i'm not mad at it i just i'm not in as much love with it as i wish i was whilst i have this dress on i did pick up a waist belt as we know i'm always a massive fan i just thought this was really cool so it's like a fake gucci kind of belt it's got CC on the front in silver, but it's a really chunky waistband. And so I just liked the look of it. Thought I could try it on. Which way should it be? This way. Oh my God, I'm getting so confused. So I thought most of my waist belt, most of my waist belts are in gold. I thought it'd be really handy to have a silver one, and I absolutely love this. It fits really, really well. It's got a sort of button pop that goes into a hole, and yeah, I just think this is really nice. I love how chunky it is. Um, it's got plenty of room in it. If you've been here before, you already know I'm such a fan of a belt yeah really keen on this one okay so next up is this little dress and i just think it's so adorable and it's giving me love island vibes so it's this beautiful little mini dress with cut out detail now i've got my black body on under here ofs so this would usually be skin um this is such an adorable dress i absolutely adore the colors on it i did pick this up on a size 16 i don't think it went any bigger than a size 16 so i thought i'd try it and it's not too bad so coming up close you can see the beautiful colors on this dress white background with blues and greens which is absolutely stunning it comes down to this little waistband and like i said it has these massive cutouts on it and then at the back it's got an invisible zip which i've done most of the way but i am on my own so forgive me that it's not all the way to the top moving down to the skirt part it's got all these lovely little ruffles which i just think are so adorable and if i went on holiday or if i was going on holiday I would be all over this dress i think it's so sweet it's got three little sort of peplum tears which is, is flattering on most shapes like this sort of dress i think it's really really lovely at the back it is quite short um hence why for me it's a bit more of a holiday dress i also feel like the cutouts are quite large as well that if I didn't have my body on, it would be like my back boob out to here. So I don't know if I'd feel the most confident in that. Um, but I do love the shape that this little dress is giving me. I feel like I could go dancing in it. I'd have my little wedges on or my little flip flops on holiday and I'd be loving life. Um, but it is very short, very, very short. Absolutely wouldn't be for this country. But I think it is absolutely adorable. Nothing like I already own. So I'm really pleased to have tried it. <laughs> okay. Next up is this little bodycon multi-colour dress. Like a razor neck. Um, <laughs> okay. So I honestly, because I bought so much in here, wanted to get all sorts of stuff. Stuff in my comfort zone. Stuff not so much in my comfort comfort zone, but a little bit similar to what they might wear on Love Island because obviously this is where they're getting all their clothes from. So I loved the colours of this little dress. These beautiful purples, pinks, oranges, absolutely stunning. This dress isn't the most well made. This is in a size 18, guys. It's got this like sort of razor sort of cut at the arms and on the neck, which is fine. 
Um, it's not my favourite, but it's fine. It is quite see-through. I mean, if I didn't have my body on underneath, we'd be able to see a lot more. I can see sort of my cleavage through this dress. It's very hugging on the old tummy. Um, really is showing all of that up, all of my, where my body is cutting into me. Um, you know, all of that goodness. The length's not too bad. Um, and from the back, it's too short. It's not looking great though. <laughs> All around for me, this dress is a no. Um, I'm glad I tried it though, because it's so fun. Like all the colours are fun. And these sorts of dresses really are in at the minute. Um, but I got two, a black one and a cow print one from Shein. I prefer them ones a lot more. The material of them are much nicer. They cling better. Because um, I don't mind things clinging to my body in the right way whereas this is not clinging in the right way at all is it so yeah uh, fun dress to try but not i'm not feeling it personally for me okay so next up we have this lilac shirt dress now i love lilac and i love shirt dresses so those parts are wins right one thing i've noticed is look how long these sleeves are <laughs> i've never had problems with that like, I don't have short, stumpy arms or anything. Um, yeah, if anything, I'd imagine my arms would be longer because I'm taller. But yeah, these are very long sleeves. They are elasticated, so it's not the end of the world. You could figure something out, I don't know. But yeah, it's a, it's a bit weird. Anyway, um, this is a cute little shirt dress. It has a nice sort of style collar on it and then button detail down the front and then when you stop the buttons here there's no more buttons down the rest of it and you have this little tie so you can adjust it as you wish so I'll just show you that's it completely untied and unpulled and it's got like a string that goes all around that's sewn in and then you can cinch in as little or as much as you want so if you wanted it quite boxy baggy and oversized you absolutely can do um me personally i would have it cinched in all the way i would potentially then even put a belt over the top of that we have our new one which I think I've put on upside down but yeah so you could have it over the top and I think that just breaks up a little bit but that's just my personal style but I just quite like the shape of, of what a belt gives me um, but I quite that but it is really nice that you are able to cinch yourself in as much or as little as you want with this dress with the drawstring detail on there I think this dress is a good length. I can imagine this casual with sliders, trainers, but also dressed out of a pair of heels as well. This is what it looks like from the back. So I think the length's quite a good length. Let me know, do you think I should keep this one? It is something that I do think I would get quite a lot of wear out of, um, but would absolutely love to know your thoughts on it. I absolutely love the color. I think it's absolutely adorable. Yeah, it's just a different little spin on a shirt dress, which I do quite like. Okay, I did pick up some oversized t-shirts as well, and this is the first one. This is half blue, half white, as you can see, and it says Michigan across it, which I think is quite cute. Now, this is in an XL. It fits absolutely fine. For some reason, I did think maybe an XL might be a little bit bigger. I think an XL is sort of the equivalent to a 20. I can't remember exactly. I might be completely wrong there. But yeah, I just thought it does fit fine. And this would be so cute with little slightly short jeans tied in a knot. Um, I tend to just wear these sort of around the house just like this as well, just to be comfy in. Um, yeah, I'm not mad at it. I just do think it would be a little bit bigger. Um... I really like the half and half that goes around onto the back as well. Um, I quite like that. It's quite different. Just don't know if I'm in love with it. I think it will probably depend on the price of how much it was. Um, so yeah, that's the first oversized t-shirt that I got. 
Next up I got this oversized t-shirt but I actually picked it up in a free XL because I wanted it as big as possible and yeah, I, perfect. This is exactly how I like them. So you can have it as a t-shirt or a t-shirt dress and that's how I like it because if I'm wearing it cycling shorts I think this will look really good but I could also knot this up when I'm wearing a pair of jeans or trousers or whatever and have it more as like a knotted top that's how I like to wear t-shirts the bigger and the baggier the better for me I think they make it more versatile you can do a lot more with them and again I would also just wear it like this pottering around the house as well but I think this would look so cool with a pair of cycling shorts and trainers. So it's this grey t-shirt. The quality feels lovely. And it says Hawaii in bright yellow over the top. I really like the contrast of the grey and the yellow together. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of this one. Really like it. It's really comfy. Just playing right at the back. <laughs> okay the next one is really similar to the last one that I just tried on again I got this in a free x and uh, yeah it's perfect I love it nice grey colour this time it's got pink writing on which says Malibu on it um, which I just think is really really cute I quite like the pink and the grey I like the yellow and the grey as well but I also like the pink and the grey these make perfect t-shirt dresses again really cool with cycling shorts trainers whatever else um, yeah you can wear them as you wish I choose to get them oversized um, as big as I can because um, that's just works what works for me. Um, so yeah, I really like this one too. Oh, and it has 1998 on it, which is uh, the year I was born. Okay, I had to try one of their slinky little halter necks. They had so many, I just had to try one. Um, so I picked up this beautiful green colour dress. Look at the stunning marble type effect on this dress and all the lovely colours. I think it's really lovely. Um, it has this halter neck tie, which gives you this cow uh, neck effect, which is really pretty, really, really nice. Now... I'm not gonna lie, halter necks terrify me um, because I hate all of this part. You can't wear, well you can wear a bra, but it'll be a strapless bra. And yeah, they're not normally my kind of thing. Um, however, I just wanted to try one. As I was getting stuff from I saw it first, I just really wanted to try one. And I think this dress gives me quite a nice shape. I feel like I've got plenty of room in it because it is such a stretchy material that there is lots of room to manoeuvre but because of that also the back does keep falling down. It's quite like a tube dress, it's really fit to me even with all of that room. Um, so again it's showing off the outline of all my underwear um, and so that's just one thing to keep in mind with this sort of material. It's almost down to my feet, but not quite. So I imagine if you're a little bit shorter than me, it'll probably be the perfect length. This is just sitting above my ankle. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm not as mad as this as I thought I was going to be. I thought I was absolutely going to hate it. I don't love it. I don't think it's really doing that much for me. And it isn't something that I'm going to keep. <laughs> But if you are looking for one of these and you know you rock these a little bit better than I do because this is just falling down and rolling down at the back um, I don't think it's doing the most for me uh, but it could work wonders for you um, so yeah I would say if you're in the market for one no reason not to give it a go um, it definitely is clinging to everything but that is something that I shouldn't be mad at you know why shouldn't things cling to the old body make the most out of it um, I think the colours of it are absolutely stunning you see how much it's rolling down um, yeah I feel like it needs to be a little bit tight around the top there there's a lot of room so it's just bagging down <laughs> just falling down so maybe that bit's not ideal but maybe i was supposed to have gone down a size in it where i've got so much room in it maybe it's not supposed to be this stretchy it's supposed to be even more you know um so yeah i'm glad i tried it um so we can all laugh together can't we okay so next up i went for this little skirt now 
They said it was a wrap skirt. I stupidly believed them and thought it was a real wrap skirt. And of course it's not. It's quite a cheap material actually. Um, so yeah, it's like this black and white polka dot skirt. Really stretchy material and waistband. And then it has this orange and white floral wrap over the top which is a fake wrap um but it's supposed to look real i just wish they do some people love fake wraps me personally i just wish it was a real one or i wish when they're advertising it as a wrap tell me if it's a fake or a real wrap you know because i do look out for that um anyway this isn't the best skirt in the world like i said the material on it does feel quite cheap like it's quite see-through very clingy i don't mind that it's clingy it's a short little skirt i did think it was going to be and then it's got this cute little wrap over it which isn't bad at all that stops here and then you have the white polka dot background which again very see-through you can see everything through it and um, even if you had nude pants on you're still going to see absolutely everything so uh yeah i don't like this it's just a pull up, it's very stretchy, you just pull it right up. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't like it. It's a nice concept. And I liked the idea of the pattern clash, um, but this one just doesn't work for me. No, sorry. Okay, then we've got this little party dress, which I did pick up in a size 16. So, first of all, I really like the colors on it and the pattern really sweet really really nice this v is just too low for me i don't know what i don't know <laughs> so it's got this really low v on it and then it has these buttons which go all the way to the bottom they are working buttons um, and they pop open very, very easily. Um, so that's that. But it's also got a zip all the way down the back, which is an invisible zip, which I got up and down absolutely fine, no problems. This material is just not the one. Do you know what? I'd really like this dress if it was in a better material. It is like a cheap, silky, fake silky material, which feels sweaty. It is highlighting my tummy quite a bit, um, which is a little bit frustrating. Like, I feel like all of these garments are like clinging and showing my underwear lines, which again, those ones from Shein that I had, I tried those on with a body. They didn't do the same, even though they were tight. Um, so I guess that's just down to the material. I like the waistband panel that it has here, and I really love the sleeves on this one. I love how oversized and dramatic they are. I think that's really, really nice. I just can't see myself wearing this dress. This V's too low. The button detail is beautiful, but the material is just not for me. Here's what it looks like at the back. So it is quite short, but I don't think it's too short. Like, I think you still definitely get away with it um yeah i don't know i'm not in love with it i'm not i just i feel i don't feel great in it i don't feel sexy in it and I, if i'm wearing a little dress like this i want to feel sexy um and yeah this isn't this isn't doing that for me um but one of you guys out there might absolutely love it and might rock it it might look so much better on you to me i feel like i look a little bit like a sausage skin you know um and not in a good way okay next up is this little white and black sort of cow dalmatian print type dress and i really really like it so it's i got this in a size 18 and i think it fits really really well it's quite like a smock shirt dress and i like that um so let's have a chat through it in a bit closer detail so it's got this really nice collar on it, which I just think sits really well with the dress. It's not too big, but it's still there. It's got this button detail that runs all the way down the front. And I just love this print. I think it's so cute. The sleeves are really nice. It's quite a boxy effect, but they come down to the elbow, but they've got a little frill on the end, which I really like. Um, so yeah, I love that kind of sleeve. This really is my kind of ideal 
sort of cool, like cool but casual dress. Like I would wear this with a pair of trainers, absolutely no problem. Like your sandals, it's really cute. Even look nice with a pair of heels, you could definitely dress it up. Now, it comes with this little tie. It's not for me. If anything, I'd probably put it in my hair. Um, so you can cinch the dress in, which really for me, just change it from a day to a night dress. But I would use my own belt as always to sort of cinch this dress in if you wanted to and make it just that little bit more shapely which again i absolutely love as well this is such a versatile piece i would wear this both ways um i really like it untucked a little bit more boxy really cash with this little frill at the bottom i hope you can see that little frill i haven't done all the buttons up sorry but yeah i hope you can see that little frill it's absolutely adorable but then i would also belt it with my own belt as well rather than the tie that it comes with i just think belted like that my own belt i just I, I personally prefer it than the belts that they come with but we know that about me anyway um so that's really up to you but this is if it was going to be belted is how i would wear it and i quite like how chunky this belt is as well with this style dress so yeah i really like that i think that looks really cute without it belted it's very long at the back almost touching my knees so again this would be per so perfect casually as well has got little belt loops in it which are quite low down actually yeah i absolutely love this dress i love the pattern on it i love the black and white i love how versatile it is this is probably my favorite piece from the haul so far i really really like it okay next up i went for another oversized t-shirt i also got this in a free xl and i'm really happy with it i love the sleeves on this one really nice and boxy i got this one in black um i do tend to avoid black because of the dog hair but i really loved the contrast of this in black with the white and yellow la logo on it i thought that was really cute um so yeah i just thought this would look really nice and i really like it i love how oversized it is um yeah again really cool with cycling shorts jeans whatever so i'm really happy i went for that one okay so next up i also picked up a pair of mum jeans these are in a size 18 and they fit fine but i'm just not keen on the shape of them honestly they are a bit short for me you're not gonna be able to see but yeah they're just a little bit short at the ankles i like this rip detail i like the slashes here but around here it's not doing me any favors around the crotch um yeah i don't know what's happening around there but it's not looking its best. Um, so yeah, they're a little bit short for me. But I could roll them up, it's absolutely not a problem. But I just don't like how they're sat here. The back pockets are placed quite nicely. Um, and they're a nice wash. But they just feel, they feel quite cheap really. They're quite baggy at the back. But I think if I'd gone down a size, it wouldn't have fit me in other places. Um, yeah, there's quite a bit of room in the waist on these they're not my favorite i'm spilling out of them so maybe not the best place for me to have your rips <laughs> yeah i think this is a no on this pair of jeans they're not for me okay so next up i went for this check shirt and they had this in a few other colors but i'm really happy i went for this one as always i've got no trousers on or anything we're just dealing with what we got. Um, I can't do the button on the sleeve up. Okay, well anyway, it's got buttons on the sleeves that do work, but I can't get them done up. So this is like a brushed cotton. It feels absolutely beautiful. And it's this beige check, which I really like. It's got working buttons all the way down the front. But what I love most about this shirt is the back so all on the back how cool is that can you see i don't know what it says so, so phoenix i think it says phoenix isn't it but anyway how cool is that i really like it 
so it's like a nice oversized shirt um which i would literally wear with almost everything like i absolutely love shirts as you know this one feels amazing and in the winter i will wear this so much and um, the colors on it are, i really really love but i just love this writing on the back i think it's so cute i absolutely love this i'm really really happy with it I'd obviously usually wear it with other stuff rather than just on its own. But I think it's really cute. I really like it. There you go, there's a bun done up. Yeah, I'm really happy. I honestly can't tell you how soft it feels. Honestly, it feels so nice. Like a really lovely brush cotton. Yeah, really cute. Really adorable. Really happy I went for this. Okay. <laughs> So this next item is also supposed to be a shirt dress, but I feel like I look like I'm in an anorak. Um, I got this in a size 18. I don't think I like it. So again, it comes with its own belt. This one's got a little buckle on it. Not my seam again, but we'll put it on just for effect. Very long. Honestly, the material of this is really anoraki. <laughs> it feels a lot more like an overcoat. I don't know if it's meant to look a bit like an overcoat, like as a dress. Um, it's just not doing it for me. As always, as everything does, it looks a bit better belted, but I can't stand these sorts of belts. Like they just come undone and unravel so easily um it does have little belt loops on it here's what it looks like from the back it's got this really quite big collar on it it's a really big collar and then these tortoiseshell effect buttons two big working pockets there but it really does just feel like i've got an overcoat on I'm not mad at it, but I don't love it. I, in fact, I don't think I even like it, really. Um, the colour's cute, but the material just feels... Yeah, I just I think this one's a no. I like the other lilac shirt dress a lot more than this one. Um, but if you are looking for sort of that outer coat, meant to be my dress sort of vibe, then this could be a really good one for you. I'm just not that keen on it myself, but would love to hear your thoughts. Okay, next up I went for this yellow hoodie, which I just think is adorable. So I got this as oversized as I could, and I actually went for a 4X. Um, so it is big, but I would also say a 4X isn't the biggest size in the world. So, and this is plus size range. So just a heads up there. But anyway, it's this really beautiful yellow, like sunshine yellow, which I love. And has Malibu 1998, again, the year that I was born in, in green, which I love. It's got, um, what does that say? I don't know what that is. Malibu. And then I'm assuming, is that the year I was born in, in thingies? anyway <laughs> um yeah i feel like this is really nice it's so, it feels so soft inside it's a really lovely color i think i would definitely be happy wearing this with cycling shorts as well as jeans joggers casually around the house um yeah i think it's really really nice it feels really well made it's got a nice big hood with drawstrings on it as well and just so you can see the colour up close with the Malibu. So yeah, I'm so yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I think it's really sweet. It feels really soft and nice. So yeah, for a hoodie, can't complain. Okay, and last but not least for clothes, I got this sort of denim jacket, which has these pink and white block colours. So what do we think? So I actually went for this in a size 16 and there's so much room. So if you need to downsize in this at all, you definitely, definitely could. This, I think, was went up to a 16. I don't think you could get any bigger in it. Um, I think it's really cute. I really love the block colours. Um, at the back, it just repeats 
what's on the front um this is something that i would definitely wear i think it's really adorable i love a denim jacket i love the different colors on it um yeah i do think it's really really sweet i do kind of wish though that i went a size down because i'm here for an oversized vibe um but i don't know if i wish it was just a little bit smaller it's quite a nice length so yeah it's not a bad little jacket but i'm not 100 percent sure if i want to keep it i quite like that the sleeves are like opposites as well that's quite cute um you guys let me know what you think of this jacket and everything else that i've tried on as well okay i also picked up a bed set as well i'm obsessed with bedding if you didn't know and it is this furry bedding which in the winter i love and i don't know if you'll be able to see very well i'll put a picture of it from the website on the screen if not but it's like flowers roses pink roses made up of fur and it feels amazing through the packaging however i have a king size bed and i ordered a king but they've sent me a super king so this one is going to have to go back on that sticker it says king but on here it says super king and i'm gonna go with what's on here so yeah i think i'm gonna have to send this one back but i remember i got this because it was 40 quid and 50 percent off 20 quid for a big furry bed set in winter you can't go wrong um but yeah annoyingly they've sent me the wrong size but i thought it was really cute anyway i then picked up some nice big square oversized sunnies I love sunglasses, the bigger the better for me, um, so yeah, I think these are right up my street, really cute, will protect my face when I've got all the hangovers from everyone else seeing, yeah, I really, really like these. I then just got a couple of pairs of earrings, which I thought were really sweet. First off, I don't own anything like this, but they're these big, orange, chunky earrings, the camera is not doing them justice they're like a really beautiful bright orange it's just something different um i really need to push myself with jewelry and stuff so yeah i just thought they'd be really cute and then i got this two little pack of earrings with like stars and stuff on okay this is the first little pair obviously there's two so little moon and star i just thought they were absolutely adorable and then the next pair are these little hoops that have this little moon dangling off of them. Absolutely adorable. I love those. So yeah, I really need to get more earrings and stuff like this because I just think those two are so beautiful. Okay, everybody, that is absolutely everything. And what are your thoughts? Um, I don't think we did too badly. I was much more keen on the more casual stuff than I was the dressy up stuff. I don't know um but maybe that was just because of the stuff that i picked some things were a real hit and miss for me so the oversized t-shirts i really like i don't think they're that generous in size considering these are plus size and 3xl um but just something for you guys to be mindful of i absolutely love the sort of cow print dalmatian print dress i think that's going to be really handy for me really versatile i love it um i'm thinking about keeping the first lilac shirt dress as well i just like how it has that drawstring in it and makes it really adaptable for whatever shape you have so i think that's quite nice um yeah and the t-shirts the jumper oh i love that shirt as well i'm not sure what i'm thinking about the block jacket you guys will have to let me know what your thoughts are but yeah i'm not sure but i'd be really keen to know what you thought about everything that i picked up today and tried on if you haven't done so already please do hit that subscribe button it really really does help me out give this video a thumbs up it just it lets the algorithm know that i exist and pushes my video out so other people can see it as well thank you so much for watching guys i really really appreciate it and i look forward to seeing you in the next one bye